a blessed morning one and all this is your apostle elijah peter chambers once more with a pounded word hallelujah a harsh one and also an intriguing one and my topic this morning my story put behind bars for speaking thus to the lord and our theme born to win hallelujah we've been winning on a constant and perpetual basis we have seen the prophecies from 2020 until today still coming to pass and our last prophecy was the one three weeks ago of the death in the kingdom of bro devil in the, the death in the cabinet the death in his kingdom and the lord is showing hallelujah us that he is in control and i want the people who were saying hallelujah that he's not from the cabinet remember this thus said the lord one will die in the immediate cabinet get yourself ready set your house in order repent and turn from your wicked ways repent and remove the graven images the idols that you have erected in your space the bible said that the idols have become in the nostril of god as a stinking savior and i will turn this kingdom upside down regardless of all that they're doing the machinery that they've been using over eight years to rob to nepotize to bring corruption to the nation the lies that they have told the nation even to the point that they have the criminals that is among them that is sending death threat on a constant and perpetual basis the silence i remember the last one send up my picture on messenger threatening me that if i do not quit preaching against the prime minister that he's gonna he's gonna send god men he will be coming for me i have been waiting for you i have been waiting for you and i want to tell the prime minister of jamaica your dead traitors that you have in your kingdom in your party they are gonna go down does it the lord they themselves will die. You will bury them. You will see their funerals. Because the Bible said, Touch not the Lord's anointed and do his prophet no harm. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery and pre departed not. Woe to the bloody city. Jamaica has become a bloody city where blood has been spewed, innocent blood has been shed in the land because of the agreement that these leaders, these politicians and the leader of the land have come into agreement and covenant with. And listen, all of what you see happening in Jamaica, the opposition, the nepotism, the corruption, it is the epitome of what is being done in secret and all that they're trying to protect is integrity listen you mess up your integrity because listen the integrity commission was implemented and created by you remember you are the one who created the integrity commission to oppose politicians representatives leaders of any embezzlement or any dishonesty this is implemented for their character to be at the right place but right now you have struck a law against the integrity commission and you're doing everything in your power everything the system is protecting your corruption your dishonesty your theft you all have thief and steal the taxpayers money and you're covering your sin the bible said that he that covered his sin shall be destroyed shall come to ruin so listen 
when we look at even the hotelians the hotel workers and i know some of you hungry belly going come labor right going come to bash and say a pnp pnp is not in power you're in power what can you do to change the laws of the hotel the hotel you notice since you all came in you all have implemented law that listen the, 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 the workers the, the citizens of this land they work they work on um contracts so when they work on contract and you fire them you can send them home and they leave with nothing i grew in a system where people work 20 to 30 years all their lives and still they are compensated after they have after they have retired no the system is implemented that if you get fire to, to today tomorrow you have nothing to receive what type of slavery is this and listen we don't see anything yet more hotel workers are going to rise up in this land because they're under a slavery system the system is only implemented to provide for the government and to protect the international businessmen. They don't care about the citizens. Listen, this system, this slavery system, where they have implemented contract, it needs to be abolished. It is slavery. It is slavery. And until the people of Jamaica recognize what they are under, because you can be working for 10, 13, 20 years. And one thing happen, a visitor can't tell a lie on you because they believe the visitors more than the workers. And we're not justifying the workers action, but because of how the policies have been set. Once the workers violate these policies, they are eliminated from the system so this government need to quit talking about what pnp have not done and you all need to go and do it change the system of the contract and i'm speaking on behalf of the jamaican citizens who are working in the tourism industry and minister Ed, edmund bartley you need to change the system because you alone is benefiting and the government and the, the, the businessmen abroad. The citizens of this land are not benefiting. So we're going to live with this system all their lives. And the young people are trying to live. They're trying to, to get wealthy. They're trying to, to support their family. And they can barely look at what you have done to, them, to the citizens of this land. They receive foreign currency, yet they are paid in Jamaica currency. And you barely want to pay them from the Jamaica currency, much less the currency of the US or the English pound or the Canadian pound or the Canadian dollar, I should say. And then you have the people of Jamaica under bandage. I spoke to you all that God is going to shake the parliament house. There is an earthquake. Listen, that earthquake that will be coming to Jamaica, I can tell you, that hard hit earthquake that will shake the very foundation. And many of you will be going on the rebel because listen, you mock the prophets. You laugh, you jeer. The Bible said, so in the days of Noah, so, so shall it be in the end. Remember, during the period of Noah, they mocked, they laughed, they jeered until their death came upon them. And at the very moment that they desire, hallelujah, deliverance, it did not come because what? Mercy ran out mercy the bible said shall we continue in sin that grace may abound the bible declares that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof is death i have been preaching to this government from 2020 and until now 
from the prime minister right down to the last hungry belly labor right they have not repented and turned from the wickedness they only pretend they know scriptures but their lifestyle is the opposite of the word the bible said that be a doer of the word and not a hearer deceiving your own self the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ your life will be in misery you're having sleepless night lead of jamaica your hair is getting gray and you're looking old than with grandfather because what just to think psychologically that you're not going back into parliament house madding you you're having a mental breakdown you're having sleepless nights because the people the nation is rising against you god will cause the nation to rise against you because your objective is not of the objectives of, of god your policies determines the policies of the devil and you have ruled out the, the ten commandments out of the parliament house